Hello and welcome to English language classroom. Today's lesson is for class 7 English. This is the second part of the first lesson, the three questions. We will understand the text and do some vocabulary, learning some words and phrases and also speaking activities. So, let us get into the objectives of this lesson. Before we get into the objectives of this lesson, uh, Kriti, what did we do in the last uh, part 1 of this lesson? Uh, we were discussing what were the 3 questions and how important the questions were for the king. Fine, alright. Okay. Now, here we will revisit the text again. Uh, that means, we assume that the learners will reread, then do some vocabulary activities, then do some speaking activities. Okay. Uh, Let us also look at the objectives of this lesson. We need to repeat uh, some of the objectives of the uh, part 1. Uh, why? Because our learners should actually know what is expected of them. That is what achieving the learning outcomes, uh, expected outcomes from the learners. So, let me start with the first one and you do the other one. At the end of this lesson learners, you are expected to. We hope that you will be able to read a variety of texts in English like this story and identify the main ideas, characters, sequences of events, ideas of the story and relate with your personal experience. Respond to a variety of questions on familiar and unfamiliar texts verbally and in writing. Okay. Use appropriate words to deduce meanings from clues in the context while reading a variety of texts. It may be a short story, it may be a biography or uh, any write up, description. They should be able to find the meaning of the words in the context. Then there is a speaking objective. Yeah. Yeah. Speak in English using appropriate expressions and ideas. Wow. This is what we are expecting from this lesson. Come on, uh, we have to actually recall, yes. recapitulate whatever we have learnt in the part 1. So, here is a summary again which appears on, on the screen uh, for your convenience and understanding. Let us read out. Come on, Kriti, you start. Uh, so, we are going to recall the summary of the story, three questions. Once there was a king who had three questions in his mind. He wished to know the answer to the questions to be a successful ruler. Fine. The second one, the three questions the king wanted to ask the king sought answers for or what is the right time to begin something, which people should you listen to, what are the most important things for him to do in life. The king sent his messengers throughout his kingdom to find the answers for his questions. But the king was not satisfied with the answers, so he decided to seek the advice of the hermit. He visited hermit in the jungle. The hermit listened to the king but did not speak a word and went on digging. The king asked the hermit whether he should help him and he wanted to help him. The, then the king continued digging the ground till the evening. A man came running towards the hermit and the king with a hand on his wounded stomach. The king cleaned the wound and dressed it twice to control the flow of blood. In the morning, when the king woke up, he saw the wounded man was seeking for forgiveness. Then the king went to look for the hermit who was sowing seeds in the beds that they had dug the day before. The king begged the hermit to answer his questions and hermit replied that the king has already been answered. How has he been answered? The hermit said that the most important time is now. The most important person at a particular moment is we ourselves, the king, uh, the hermit and the wounded person. The most important thing to do is to do good to others. Fine. Now, Kriti, uh, yes, we have got some questions, the popular multiple choice questions that actually makes you think the possibilities then answer. That is what the purpose of multiple choice questions uh, learners, let us understand that. So, we have got some 4 5 multiple choice questions to understand the text. Okay. I am going to ask you, throw at you some of the questions. Okay, sir. Why was the king advised to go to the magicians? There are 4 options. 
first one the only magician could know the right time the right person and the right thing to do because they can do wonders then magicians know everything and change people magicians will not listen to anyone magicians are like gods so which one would be the first one so i think the correct answer for this would be uh, the point a1 hmm. uh, which says only magicians could know the right time right person and right thing to do because they, they can, can do, do wonders fine good you said the right answer then the second question why did the king decide to go to a hermit the options are he knew a hermit can answer his questions nobody was able to answer his three questions he thought that even the hermit would not answer his questions the king knew the answer but wanted to check it with the hermit so what would be the so according to me uh, what the chapter says the correct option would be option number b nobody was able to answer his three questions so he went to the he, king so he went to the hermit oh, fine fine then third question why did not the hermit answer the questions of the king first when the king came he never answered he was doing he kept on doing whatever he was doing yes. so because he did not know the answers he knew the answers but wanted the king to do the work for him the hermit wanted the king to find the answer himself through through experience the hermit wanted someone to come and tell the king the answers so which one so this is a very easy one hmm. this would be point c the hermit wanted the king to find the answer himself through experience very good so that's the thing so now the fourth question the man who came with a wound in his stomach planned to kill the king king's soldier hermit's disciple or king's friend so for this the answer would be uh, point a the man who came with the wound in his stomach planned to kill the king because he was also a, a arch enemy of the king fine now you have got uh, some something for you to uh, say true or false yes or no the, there are about some 12 13 statements you will have to uh, say whether the statements are true, true or false. false okay sir the queen asked the king the three questions no hmm. the false. queen did not It's this false. is false false okay uh, there was no mention yeah, of, no, the, uh, of the queen, queen in the yes, story in at the all story. okay the king's first question was what is the right time to begin something yes this is true oh, fine third the king found answers to his questions from his ministers No, it was uh, the king's dreams. Okay, he never. He never uh, asked uh, the ministers, so okay. this is false. Okay. Fourth one, the king went on his own to the hermit to find answers to his questions. Yes, this is true. Okay, fine. The king was got answers to the questions from the hermit when he met. Not at the very beginning when he met. He has to experience. So. So this would be uh, false. false. Okay, false. Fine, fine. You are right. You are right. The hermit did not answer the questions immediately. This is true. True, fine. Yes. Yeah, he made the king wait. Yes. The king knew the man who came with the wound in his stomach was his enemy. No. No. So. So this is false. Okay. The king never got answers to his questions from the hermit at all. This is false because, because he got the answers, but not in a direct way. Okay. The king got the answers to his three questions at last from the hermit. Yes, this is true. Fine, all right. Okay, this is how learners. Let's understand this kind of questions makes you read, reread, so that you understand the story better. So the, here are some more questions. The three questions arose in the minds of the king. Yes, this is true. Okay, he asked the three questions to the wise men of the country. Yes, his soldiers did for. Okay. No one answered the questions. Yes, this is true. The king decided to go to a hermit to find the answers to his questions. Yes, Fine. true. Okay, he went to the hermit as a common man. Yes, yeah, true. Fine. Okay, the whole story of the three questions uh, moves around. 
we have made the learners read, reread and questions. Now, let us go on to vocabulary. Okay, sir. Look at the uh, example there, vocabulary which appears on the screen. We use the same word in different forms. Same word is used as noun as well as verb. Suppose I say that this I have a pen, hmm. but say, I am penning down whatever you are saying. Yes. I am I am writing down yes. it means. So the word the this can be used both as noun as verb. So this lesson has some such usages. So let us learn that today. So look at the example there. He promised to help me during my crisis. He has kept his promise. Look at the word promised and also promise, promise. the underlined words. Yes. Read out. He promised to help me during my crisis. He has kept his promise. Okay. So, in the first one is the verb because he promised. promised he is yes. doing an action. Yeah. He has kept his promise. So, it is a noun there. Okay. We will see some more uh, which appear in the lesson also some new vocabulary we will learn. Okay. Let us see how verb and noun forms of the same word of, of the same word is used. I am going to read out or let you read out the sentence there. Uh, do not judge that sentence. Okay. Hmm. Do not judge people by appearance. Your judgment should be based on their actions. So, look at the underlined words there. Judge is what? Judge is the action of doing oh, something. No, what is the, so, well, this yeah. is verb here. Verb. It's, uh, judge, we, I am judging people. Yes. So, fine. So, you are right, rightly said. Then, judgment is? Noun. Noun. Because yes. it's, it's, it's a, it's a uh, kind of document or something pronounced. Okay. Now, look at the second example. Let me read out for you. The king was expecting answers from the hermit, but the hermit did not answer. Look at the underlined words answers and answer. So, which is the noun, which is the verb, Kriti? Sir, in this the verb would be hmm. answers hmm. because he was expecting. No, look at it, read it again. The king was expecting answers from the hermit, but the hermit did not answer. Answer, yes. So, so now you got it? Yes, yeah, yeah. I got it. Hmm. So, here the verb would be answer hmm. and the noun here would be answers. Hmm. Because many answers, three yes, answers. Yes. Kriti, now we will we'll learn some vocabulary uh, based on the vocabulary which uh, occurred in the lesson. Uh, Let us see how a verb and noun forms of the same word is used. So, I am going to uh, show you some examples. Do not judge people by appearance. Your judgment should be based on their action. So, look at the word underlined words judge and judgment. Judge is noun. No, no verb. verb. Do not oh, judge. Do not judge. judge. Yes. Or verb. And then judge also can be noun. Hmm. He is a judge. Yeah. So, very good, you are right. But here look at how it is used. It is used as verb. Hmm. Then judgment is uh, noun. Noun. Because it's an it's a, it's a complete thing. Then could you read out the second sentence? Yes. Hmm. Uh, the king was expecting answers from the hermit, but the hermit did not answer. So Answers is noun and the hermit did not answer is verb. verb. Fine. Now, like, like similarly, the same way we have got some uh, uh, exercises for you. Uh, let me read out. You will have to say which one you will have to fill uh, the blanks in the sentences uh, with same word as noun and verb. Okay, okay. sir. Your dash of the problem is correct. You are a good dash. So, the correct answer would be your judgment of the problem is correct. You judged well. Okay. Judged is? Verb. Okay, fine. Judgment is? Noun. Okay. Now, look at the second sentence. The committee dash to take dash by tomorrow. Okay. You have to use the word decide okay. both as noun and verb. The committee dash to take dash by tomorrow. Okay. So, this would be the committee decided to take a decision by tomorrow. Fine. So, decide is? Verb uh, and decision is noun. Uh, fine. Now, look at that. Anyone who committed a blunder should ask for dash and a good person will dash. You have to use 
fugue as noun as well as verb yeah so the answer would be anyone who committed a blunder should ask for forgiveness and a good person will forgive fine the next one dash people notice the dash in different manner different people notice the difference in a different manner okay here there is no verb, verb. both are noun. noun but they are used differently yes different people notice the, dif the difference in a different manner so uh, the difference is noun and different people there the different is what adjective, adjective. Okay, fine let us not bother about that uh, uh, I, we have given this sentence just to notice that the same word can be used in a different manner next one do not dash the questions now your dash should not be long answer answer the, the word answer do not answer the questions now your answers should not be long fine ok answer and answer and then next a dash is the one who dashes the patients so the answer would be a nurse is the one who nurses the patient ok nurse and nurses, nurses. fine a dash is the one who dash teach so the correct answer would be a teacher is the one who teaches ok teacher is a noun teaches teach is verb. verb no he dash you have to use the word water but as noun as well as verb he dash the plants with a special dash of herbs so the answer would be he watered the plants with a special water of herbs fine the last sentence it's a funny kind of uh, not very appropriate but let's try he dash everyone to get dash you have to use the word anger so i assume this would be he angered everyone to get angry okay the word anger can be used both as a noun as well as verb now having learnt some vocabulary let's move on to speaking the king narrates his experiences what are his experiences in the whole story king can you recall some of them Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, from the beginning, he was searching for the answers to his questions. Then, then he tried to answer. He tried to find the answers of the questions himself. So he went out of his kingdom and met a hermit. And then eventually, at the end, he got the answers from a hermit by via experiences. Oh, fine. Okay. Now you have to speak, assuming that you are the king. Then I am going to give you some clue, learners. You also can uh, try this. Speak just in two three minutes. Your feelings as the king, the experiences. So you know the king had a great experience. Imagine you are the king and describe your experiences. Here are some clues for you. You may speak informally, not very formally. So it's not writing. It it's kind of informal speech the way I am talking to you. So, I do not have to bother when to stop what to say I say I in between I address you. So, the, the king now says I am going to give you some clues then you speak out maybe some 7 8 sentences. The 3 questions occurred to my mind then I asked for people something no one then I decided to you complete it. Hmm? Okay. Then I met a hermit, I saw a man, I nursed him, next day he came to me, said something, then at last I discovered the answers. Now this is the clue. If you want it appears on the screen, you can see it. Now it is there. Now assume you may take one minute to think. Mm, the learners there assume then speak your experiences as the king you are the king now yeah. okay mm. so i am the king now and three questions have occurred in my mind what is the right time to begin something which people should i listen to what is the most important thing for me to do so i asked my people to find answers of these questions 
and when they could not find the answers to these questions, I decided to find the answers myself. So, I visited a wise hermit. Good. I met him and he was actually dugging. So, I asked that if I could help him or not. He agreed that I can help him. And then after some time, I saw a man with the wound on his stomach. I helped him and then he was nursed back to his life. Then after all of these experiences, I finally asked the hermit again, then can you answer my questions? Can you answer my three questions? So then he said, your questions have already been answered. Then it was eventually by my experiences that I got my answers from the hermit. What were your answers? Say it. So the answers were, the right time to do something is now. The right and people are? The right people are the people ourselves and the people at the moment we are with. And the right thing to do is to do good to others. Very good. Kriti, well done, well done. You have really narrated uh, like a real life event and incident. So, uh, let us also hope that our learners have done it. Uh, fine. Of course. So, otherwise uh, uh, learners, now you try after this class, after you watching this. Now, let me also take you to the other one. The other person who can narrate uh, the event is the hermit because he was also very important in the whole story. Now, imagine you are the hermit, then narrate your experiences uh, with the king and you were, you were actually a message or teaching to the king how you did. Okay, you are the hermit now. This time we are not going to get any clue. Okay, now, come on, go ahead, Kriti. So, now I am a hermit. I was digging the ground and I saw a man coming towards me. He came to me and asked me his three questions. His three questions were, what is the right time to do a thing? Who are the right people he should listen to? And what is the right thing to do? I could not give the answer to him at that moment. So then he asked me that if he could help me. After some time, he started digging the ground on behalf of me. And both of us saw a man coming towards us with a wounded stomach. The man and I helped the wounded man to be nursed back to his life. In the morning, the king came towards me and he asked the three questions again. And he asked the answers. But then I told him that he has already been answered. The king asked me how. So I told him, the right moment to do something is now. The right people he should listen to is the people among ourselves at that moment. And the right thing to do is to be good to others. Kriti, well done, well done, you have done. Uh, you have really described it. Uh, learners, uh, this is how we recapitulate something, recall something to narrate it to the other person. Uh, this is a kind of uh, narration you do. Uh, See, so you, you may also practice uh, by writing the diary, you know, your own diary, narrating whatever happened. Some of the days very interesting, very uh, rem memorable things happen, sometimes some sad things happen, you get angry, someone uh, shouted at you. So, you narrate it in your writing form, at least tell to yourself or your uh, siblings, your brothers, sisters or parents, whichever can be, uh, means experience. So, this is a kind of uh, narrating and even an e incident. Let us try. Uh, so, with that, uh, we close the part 2 of this uh, first lesson, 3 questions. Uh, we will continue. Uh, to have some more activities in the part 3 of the first lesson, 3 questions. Uh, thank you very much for participating and watching. Uh, I request you to read the lesson again and do the activities we have done. Thank you very much learners there. Thank you Kriti. Thank you sir and mm. thank you learners.